Chapter 2, in which Tigger comes to the forest and has breakfast. At night, inside Pooh's house, Pooh was asleep, snoring quietly, tossing once or twice in his bed. Pooh <coughs> wakes up suddenly and listens, then gets out of bed. He lights a candle and stumps across the room to see if anybody is trying to get into his honey cupboard. But they aren't, so he stumps back again, blows out his candle, and gets back into bed and attempts to return to sleep. Who <coughs> sits back up in bed and lights his candle once more. Is that you, Piglet? Come in, Christopher Robin. Tell me about it tomorrow, Eeyore. <laughs> Boo absorbs the continuing silence for a moment, wondering whether the noise will come back. After a few moments, he convinces himself that it probably won't and starts to fade back to sleep when... <coughs> what can it be? There are lots of noises in the forest, but this is a different one. It isn't a growl, and it isn't a purr, and it isn't a bark, and it isn't a noise you make before beginning a piece of poetry. But it's a noise of some kind made by a strange animal, and he's making it outside my door. So I shall get up and ask him not to do it. Pooh gets out of bed, puts on his dressing gown, then opens his front door and steps back somewhat. Hello? Hello? Oh, hello? There you are. Hello. Hello. Who is it? Me. Oh. Well, come here. Tigger comes in Pooh's door. In the light of the candle, he and Pooh look at each other. I'm Pooh. I'm Tigger. Oh. I've never met an animal like you before. Of course not. I'm the only one. Oh. Does Christopher Robin know about you? Of course he does. Well, it's the middle of the night, which is a good time for going to sleep. And tomorrow morning, we'll have some honey for breakfast. Do tiggers like honey? They like everything. Then if they like going to sleep on the floor, I'll go back to bed, and we'll do things in the morning. Good night. Who blows out his candle, gets back into bed, and quickly falls asleep. Later that morning, in Pooh's house. When Pooh awakens, the first thing he sees is Tigger sitting in front of the looking glass and looking at himself. Hello. Hello. I found somebody just like me. I thought I was the only one. Well, this is a looking glass, and when you look into it... Ex excuse me a moment. There's something crawling up your table. Digger jumps to the end of the tablecloth pulls it to the ground, wraps himself up in it, rolls to the other end of the room, and, after a terrible struggle, gets his head out into the daylight again. Uh, have I won? That's my tablecloth. I wondered what it was. It goes on the table and you put things on it. Then why did it try to bite me when I wasn't looking? I don't think it did. <laughs> it tried! But I was too quick for it. <laughs> Pooh puts the cloth back on the table, and he puts down a large honey pot on the cloth, and they sit down to breakfast. And as soon as they sit down, Tigger takes a large mouth full of honey, and he looks up at the ceiling with his head to, on one side, and makes exploring nice noises with his tongue. Mmm. 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 Tiggers don't like honey. Oh, I thought they liked everything. Everything, it, except honey. <laughs> oh, well, if you're sure. Very sure. Then we'll go visit Piglet, and you can try some of Piglet's haycorns. Thank you, Pooh, because haycorns is really what Tiggers like best. Pooh looks rather longingly at the honey that he is not eating for breakfast as they leave. They head towards Piglet's house. 
Tigger is very boisterous on the short journey, hiding behind trees and jumping out on Pooh's shadow when it wasn't looking. Tigger, Piglet is a very small animal. If Tiggers don't bounce all the time, then when we are visiting Piglet, would it be a good time for Tiggers to not, Tiggers to not bounce? Well, Tiggers only bounce before they've had breakfast. Once they've had a few acorns, they become quite quiet and, and refined. <laughs> oh. They arrive at Piglet's house, where Piglet has just been settling down outside for her own breakfast. There's a large bowl of acorns on the table. Hello, Pooh. Hello, Piglet. This is Tigger. How is it? Piglet edges round to the other side of the table. I thought Tiggers were smaller than that. Not the big ones. <laughs> <laughs> they like acorns. So that will, that's what we've come for, because poor Tigger hasn't had any breakfast. Piglet pushes the bowl of acorns towards Tigger. Help yourself. Piglet edges closer to Pooh. So you're Tigger. Well, well. Tigger says nothing because his mouth is full of acorns. <laughs> um. Ew! Oh, my ego! What? Hmm? Excuse me. Tigger goes behind the tree for a moment, and when he returns. <coughs> Tiggers don't like acorns. But you said they liked everything except honey. Everything except honey and acorns. Oh, I see. What about thistles? Thistles! Thistles is what Tiggers like best. Uh, <laughs> then let's go along and see Eeyore. The three of them leave and head toward Eeyore's part of the forest. Tigger is again boisterous on the journey. Piglet keeps close to Boo. I don't think Eeyore likes bouncing either. Oh. Tigger settles down a little as they arrive at Eeyore's clearing. Eeyore is here, munching on a thistle. Hello, Eeyore. This is Tigger. What is? This. <laughs> Tigger smiles his happiest smile and says nothing. Eeyore walks all round Tigger one way then turns and walks all round him the other way. What did you say it was? Tigger. Ah. He's just come. Ah. When is he going? <laughs> Tigger is a great friend of Christopher Robo. He has come to stay in the forest with us. Tigger, you mustn't mind what Eeyore says. He's always gloomy. Nonsense, dear Piglet. I'm feeling particularly cheerful this morning. Tiggers would be feeling rather more cheerful themselves if they had breakfast. I knew there was something. Tiggers always eat thistles, so that's why we came here to see you, Eeyore. Don't mention it, Pooh. Oh, Eeyore, I didn't mean that. I didn't want to. I, I did. I, I didn't mean that. I didn't want to see. You. Quite, quite. But your new stripy friend. Naturally, he wants his breakfast. What did you say his name was? Tigger. Then come this way, Tigger. Eeyore leads the way to the most thistly looking patch of thistles that ever was. <laughs> A little patch I was keeping for my birthday. But after all, what are birthdays? Here today and gone tomorrow. Thank you! Help yourself, Tigger. Are these really thistles? Yes. What Tiggers like best? That's right. I see. Digger takes a large mouthful and gives a large crunch. Ow! What's the matter? Mm. Hot! Your friend appears to have been mm. on a beam. Mm. <laughs> Tiggers don't like thistles. Then why I bend a perfectly good one? But you mm. said... You said that Tiggers like everything except honey and acorns. And thistles? What are we going to do? We must go to see Christopher Robin at once. You'll find him at Kang with Kanga. Could you ask your friend to kindly do his exercise somewhere else? I shall be having lunch directly and don't want it bounced on just before I begin. A, a trifling matter and fussy of me, but we all have our little ways. 
Come along and we'll go see Tanga. He's sure to have some lots of breakfast for you. Digger finishes his last circle and comes up to Pooh and Piglet. He smiles broadly. What? Tigger rushes off ahead. Come on! Tigger runs off. Pooh walks thoughtfully, and after a moment, a poem comes to him. What shall we do about poor little Tigger? He never eats nothing, he'll never get bigger. He doesn't like honey and acorns and thistles because of the taste and because of the bristles. And all of the good things which an animal likes have the wrong sort of swallow or too many spikes. <laughs> He's quite big enough anyhow. He isn't very big. Digger has been ahead of them, but doesn't really know the way to go. So he comes back in a big, bouncy rush. Is this the way to Kanga's house? Who nods and Tigger races off. Well, he seems very big, even if he isn't. Who considers this for a time? But whatever his weight in pounds, shillings, and ounces, he always seems to get bigger because of his bounces. And that's the whole poem. Did you like it, Piglet? All except the shillings. I don't think they ought to be there. <laughs> they wanted to come in after the pounds, so I let them. It is the best way to write poetry, letting things come. Oh, I didn't know. Christopher Robin enters with Tigger. Oh, there you are, Tigger. I knew you'd be somewhere. I've been finding things in the forest. I found a pool and a piglet and an eeyore, but I can't find any breakfast. Boo and piglet come up and hug Christopher Robin. Don't you know what Tigger's like? I expect if I thought very hard, I should, but I thought Tigger knew. I do. Everything there is, except honey and haycorns and what were those hot things called? Thistles. Yes, and those. Oh, well then. Kanga can give you some breakfast. They arrive at Kanga's house. A picnic brunch is underway. Who is here, and Kanga is pouring out a spoon of extract of malt. Mm -hmm. Rue isn't happy about this part of her day, and is very grateful for the interruption. Hello, Pooh. Hello, Piglet. Hello. Hello, Pooh, dear. And Piglet, too. Well, and who's this? This is Tigger. Hello, Tigger, dear. Hello, Tigger. Hello, Tigger. Tigger hasn't had any breakfast. Well, look around, Tigger, dear, and see what you'd like. Tigger surveys the picnic comestibles. He eventually jams his head into a picnic basket and has a hard time getting out again. Mm -hmm. Pooh explores his tummy. He hasn't had breakfast either. <laughs> Shall I look too? Without waiting for an answer, who reaches for a tin of condensed milk, and something seems to tell him that Tiggers don't like this, so he takes it aside and goes with it to see that nobody interrupts it. <laughs> Caitlin and Christopher Robin are gathered round Rue. Rue, dear, it's time for your strengthening medicine. Must I? Now, Rue, dear, remember what you promised? Tigger has come up empty-handed. He returns to Kanga in a dejected sort of way. Who, on the other hand, is tremendously satisfied with his found breakfast. <laughs> I haven't found anything Tigger's like. But the others aren't paying attention, as Rue is refusing to take her malt extract. What is it? Her strengthening medicine, she hates it. Tigger leans over, sniffs the spoon, then suddenly he puts out his tongue and takes one large gallop. <laughs> Grabbing the malt extract and the spoon with his mouth. Go! Oh! Kanga grabs the spoon quickly before it disappears. <laughs> pulls it back. <laughs> Tigger. Dear. He's taken my medicine. He's taken my medicine. He's taken my medicine. Tigger looks up at the ceiling and closes his eyes. Mm. His tongue goes round and round his chops mm. in case he can left any outside and a peaceful smile comes over his face. So that's what Tigger is like. <laughs> then, Tigger dear, you shall stay with us and you can have extract of malt for breakfast, dinner, and tea. He can have mine. No, <laughs> dear. But if he needs strengthening, perhaps he will have a spoonful of your own breakfast after his extract. 
Jigger indicates he would like some more, and additional spoons of extract are provided and gladly accepted. As this is happening, Piglet leans to Pooh. I think that he's been strengthened quite enough. 